the Rivers, Roads, uh, and Rails was a Teaching American History grant through Cleveland State University, and the idea was to bring local teachers uh, that, that whose school districts are around the Cuyahoga Valley and bring them out to the Cuyahoga Valley and, and teach local history through these place-based education. We learned about the canal era, the railroad era, and the highway era. And through that, we learned national history that played itself out in this, these local places. What the Rivers Project did was help me to legitimize taking students out on field trips and exploring and hiking and biking uh, and, and be able to show my administration how we could make that um, meet the state standards, have the students learn what is expected of them by our Board of Education and um, just really enhance what we were learning in the classroom. What we really started with was a series of bike rides. They were just volunteer field trips that students who were in American history classes were able to take some rides with us along the towpath and we set up a series of scavenger hunts where they could find information on the signage that goes along the path and then we just sent the students out on bicycles, bought them a train ticket back and uh, so that began to grow and after we had probably taken a couple hundred students on bike rides like that uh, then we said, well, let's turn this into a class. Let's help them get credit. And the project is what we call Valley Voyages. The idea is to cross curriculums um, and really introduce them to everything science and arts, as well as all of the history that's really foundational and easy to find here. There was an independence to the whole thing. It's guided by the teachers, and we pick themes each year, but the students really discover and they decide what they think is worthy of their exploration. And we go out on these trips about once a month, then they have a culminating project at the end of the year. We ran um, a couple of our Valley Voyage events with fourth and fifth graders from Portage Path Elementary, which is an inner city school and we're a suburban high school. Um, we've run them with all the fourth grade classes in all the buildings in our district. Um, we've worked with uh, middle school teachers. In each case, we just take a look at what the standards are, what objectives we have, and then we throw out ideas with one another to try to figure out creative ways to engage the students in exploring those activities. The high school students really focus on what they know and become the experts and are generous towards the younger students when they get that chance, if we give them that chance. So that's basically what we're doing is just open up some doors and giving the students a chance to success.